Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be talking about some facts on the Jack Dempsey cichlid. As you can see, this is my Jack Dempsey and this is a six foot predator tank and these fish are absolutely stunning and um, actually let's, let's just get to doing some feeding here. I want to show you guys what I feed them. I feed my fish Omega-1 brands and this is the general cichlid pellet. If you're interested, I'll throw a link in the description box if you want to uh, take a look at Omega-1 cichlid pellets. And as you can see here, these pellets are um, pretty small for some of these predators in here, but the Jack Dempsey in particular loves these. As you can see, he's munching them down there. And um, these fish grow, you know, anywhere from 5 to 10 inches, and they are omnivores, so they need both sides of the food spectrum, but mainly uh, it has to be heavy on the protein side because they are predators. So when keeping them in fish aquariums, um, just, you know, the general facts and specifics to keeping them, they're tropical fish, so they're going to need heated water. Um, plan on getting a heater. Um, you're going to need 5 watts of energy in a heater per gallon of water like i said they're omnivores so just uh, a general cichlid pellet will be fine and i'll throw a link in the description box to the omega one brands i i highly advise picking them you'll spend a couple extra dollars in a high brand food a, a, ugh, can't speak a top quality food but it's just really worth it at the end of the day as far as you know the health of your fish and what i also do is displace that with you know some live foods like i'll cut up some tilapia or maybe throw in some earthworms etc as far as their growth rate and like how fast they're going to grow inside the aquarium uh, i get asked this a lot because usually people are putting fish in too small of aquariums like you know, I commonly get asked, can I put a Jack Dempsey in a 20-gallon tank or a 30-gallon tank? And that, you know, it, you can do that when they're small. I mean, obviously you can do it. I don't advise it because it it will kind of reflect the growth rate. And that's just how it goes with fish. And, you know, if people plan on upgrading and they they talk the talk, but then when it comes time to, you know, it's tough kind of changing around tanks and upgrading. But to get get to the point here, I would advise at least a minimum of 55-gallon tank for one Jack Dempsey. And he, he or she is going to take a while to grow to that full adult size. So maybe down the road you could, you know, upgrade. But, um... As far as keeping tank mates with Jack Dempsey cichlids, um, that it's it's going to be a double-edged sword here. I've had Jack Dempsey's that get along great with fish, like this instance here in this six-foot tank. Um, I have tons of fish that should not be together, but they've lived this way for uh, quite some time, and they do completely fine. So, But then I've also seen other Jack Dempsey's that kill everything in the tank. So it's really... Um, it, you're playing with the devil here because, you know, with predator fish, and these are somewhat considered predator fish because I'd say like 30% of the chance, 30% of the time, a Jack Dempsey's is going to be crazy aggressive. So, but yeah, guys, um, this video is wrapping up. Leave a comment of questions and, uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe.